Now, today in Focus, we tell you the story of Ahmed. Now, jobless, he was offered $8,000 for his kidney. So, well, he sold it. Well, Ahmed is just one of many in Egypt, which has become one of the world capitals for organ trafficking. Widespread poverty, meaning criminal gangs can easily uh, trick or pressure people into selling their organs. And whilst the authorities there have passed a law specifically designed at combating this illegal trade, well, big loopholes remain. Our team in Egypt has more. I came to Cairo to try and make a living, but I didn't find a job. Someone suggested selling a kidney for money. I asked how much, he told me $8,000, I said yes. When Ahmed arrived in Cairo three years ago, he thought he could make ends meet by selling one of his kidneys for money. But for this young Sudanese refugee who did not want to show his face on camera, the operation turned into a nightmare. I came out of the operating room and I was taken to an apartment. I still felt the effects of the anesthesia. I slept a little and when I woke up there was no one left, nothing. I just found 50 euros under the pillow. Now I'm sick and tired and I still feel a lot of pain. Undocumented migrants are an easy target for organ traffickers, as are the poorest in Egyptian society. According to the World Health Organization, Egypt has one of the highest rates of illegal organ transplants in the world, after China, the Philippines and India. The Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees in Cairo is well aware of the problem. Socioeconomic difficulties generally pose a lot of challenges on refugees and non-refugees, and it can push a lot of people to adopt negative coping mechanisms to try to survive the day-to-day -day challenges of, of our lives. That being selling their organs, refugees and asylum seekers can be exposed to a, a wide number of risks based on that vulnerability. In Egypt, the sale of organs is illegal. Only donations are allowed. But by promising large sums of money or using threats and intimidation, organ traffickers easily force their victims to sign a donation authorization. In this kidney center in Mansoura, Professor Mohammed Ghanem has made the fight against the illegal sale of organs his primary focus. He says the existing laws are easy to circumvent. The poor man or woman who is ready to donate will go to a police station and make a statement, approved, stamp it, that she is donating her kidney for the sake of God, for the sake of spiritual reason. So if you print this paper, this document, I'm donating my kidney for you for the sake of God, spirit, whatever, okay, on the surface, no financial elements are involved. But in fact, there is a financial element. Finding a kidney in the classifieds or on social media in Egypt is shockingly simple. Middlemen openly leave their contact information and telephone numbers on Facebook. We contacted one of them. Hello? Uh, كل حاجة بالمتبرع بالأشخاص كله 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 بس ده مش غالي شوية ولا إيه؟ بص انت تعالى في مستشفى أول حاجة خمس نجوم okay. على إيد أكبر الرحيم To confirm the offer was real, we sent a hidden camera into the hospital mentioned by the organ broker, a medical institution in central Cairo not known for organ transplants. Once inside, a hospital staffer immediately explained the process. In recent months, several high-profile trials of organ traffickers have made headlines in the Egyptian press. But with a law that's easy to circumvent, it's unlikely that authorities will be able to properly crack down on illegal organ transplants.